Hello, this is Kenny Lee Burgess and welcome to Lesson 10, How Do You Play Four String Cigar Box Guitar. In this lesson, I thought we'd look at some licks in the style of Robert Johnson. Now, there's a lot of controversy about how Robert Johnson tuned his guitar, if he used a capo, if the pitch of the song was changed through the recording process. But regardless of all that, uh, what I like to do is I like to use my open G tune guitar and put the capo at the third fret. And you'll notice it'll sound um, a lot more like the original recordings, which are somewhat in the key of B and B flat. And using the capo also kind of makes the frets closer together, so some of these stretches aren't that bad. All the tablature for the lessons are contained on a file on the CD. And I have to tell you, I learned a lot about how music works by having to learn how to tab out songs. Because you have to be very clear about timing and how to fit the music into a bar of four beats. Now that might be one of the reasons why people have problems working with tablature because a very simple idea could become very complicated in tablature because of the way the musician phrases it. Like the lick I just showed you is really just contained in these uh, four interval movements down the neck. If you played it really straight it might sound like this. So you can see how the, the phrasing I use in the tablature makes this a little more complicated.
So in that last clip, I did something a little strange. I mixed songs. So I used the rhythm that I normally use for Terraplane Blues. I sang the lyrics from Crossroads, and then I used the Walking Blues lick for a call and response. So that kind of illustrates the beauty of the blues. It's kind of like relatively simple. So if you understand how to go from bar to bar to bar, you can mix and match all kinds of songs together. I mean, usually you don't, because you want to keep that signature lick, like that Walking Blues lick, just for itself. So I hope you enjoyed this series of lessons and I hope you look into the other CDs in the series. Um, in CD1 it starts off right from the beginning. A uh, lot good explanation of the theory. Uh, also I have Scarbox Guitar Lessons for a three string on this and it's tuned DAD which would be strings 6, 5 and 4 from a six string guitar and it's that same 1-5-1 one, one relationship. Then in series 2 I explore open G tuning and if you're doing cigar box guitar uh, three or four string with the other two CDs you'll find this a nice compliment then in CD 3 what I do is I compare open D and open G because you know a lot of people think that there's this really big mystery that they're really different but once you understand the relationships between the strings and you know the two tunings it's really not that hard and also I put a, a lot of repertoire there's a whole bunch of songs on here to learn so then in CD 4 three strings cigar box guitar and this is tuned in open G so that would be strings 5, 4 and 3 from your six string guitar and then finally this CD, CD5 is strings 4, 3, 2, 1 from an open G tuned six string guitar so you know if you're really interested in exploring open G make sure you check out CD2, CD4 and CD, this CD, CD5 so um, thank you very much I really enjoyed doing this series of lessons uh, hopefully I have some other plans for the future, like I want to do a, a series of gospel blues guitar lessons, and who knows what else. So thank you very much, and please feel free to write me. Take care. Enjoy.